think I solved my dilemma. What I decided to do was to keep it pretty similar to how it's in my sketchbook. Um, so you can get this one as a print and this set as a print just as on one paper if that makes sense. This is my sketchbook and how it looks like in my sketchbook and then that is the print for that one and then for this one you can see also pretty similar to how it is in my sketchbook. So I want to make this quick because my camera is about to die. But as you guys know, I've been doing a ton of test printing these past couple days, just trying to get my colors right and accurate somewhat to the original pieces in my sketchbook. And it has been a journey, but I feel like I've learned so, so much along the way. But one of the biggest discoveries that I recently found out is all along, I was just kind of printing from Photoshop. But recently I downloaded the Epson like print layout software that is specifically designed for Epson printers and I'm telling you using that instead of Photoshop is a huge difference in color. That was one of the things that I recently did that was a huge game changer. And number two was actually downloading the ICC profile of the paper that I'm using. So I'm using Red Reverse Paper, and if you go on their website, pretty much for any paper manufacturer that you use, if you go on their website, you should be able to find an ICC profile for the paper, and that will help the printer know the correct colors to print for that specific paper, so that what you see on screen matches as close as possible to what the printer is gonna print. As you can see, I have like three test prints that I did just right now. And this one is the one that turned out the most accurate to what I was seeing on my screen. And for this one, I used the Epson software and I also made sure I used the ICC profile for this paper. And I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't played around with different settings. And yeah, like it's just crazy how much your settings and your paper make a big difference together. And when you have the right recipe, things just work so much better. So I don't know if this helps, but I know it definitely helps me. These are not the final sizes, but just an idea of what these prints would look like. friends. So the first thing I did after I had breakfast this morning was to sit at my desk and do some much needed sketchbook time. I drew these pairs, these pairs in my sketchbook today. It's okay. I mean, I don't think I am in love with it. I feel like it's a little bit all over the place and sometimes that's just what happens when I'm working on my in my sketchbook. So sometimes things just get a little bit clustered or there's a few tangents here and there. Um, but I'm always so proud of myself for showing up to the sketchbook anyways, even if it doesn't turn out how I envisioned it. I'm still always happy 
when I open up my sketchbook and create something and just put something on the page. So I'm really happy with this and I'm really happy with like the colors and everything. I do love the color palette. Um, but yeah, not my favorite, but yeah, I did it. I did it. At this point, I've just been filming a lot, so I don't really know like if this is the start of another video or is it the same clip, but I've been working on or making some stickers, so I went ahead and designed these yesterday, and this is from my sketchbook. Just in case someone doesn't want the print but they want the sticker and vice versa, they have like that option. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the studio day. and everything I feel like they printed a bit darker than I wanted them to be so I think I will lighten them up and then try and print them again and see how that works but I think I have the size down that I want to do and I think I actually prefer the glossy ones over matte so these are the glossy if you can see matte 